In the past couple of years, I've described the support for Donald Trump as a cult of personality, as cultish behavior. But I am by no means an expert on cults or people who are in cults. So we decided to get an expert on exactly that. And that expert joins us now, Stephen Hassan, cult expert, internationally sought after expert on cults and undue influence, author of multiple books, including the newest released just a couple of weeks ago, The Cult of Trump. Um, you seem like the perfect guest to explain this phenomenon to us. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, my well, thank you for having me. And this has been 40 plus years of my life work uh, as a mental health professional, as a former cult member myself in the Moonies. And uh, I describe uh, exactly in this new book, I think, what's going on and that I think will cut through a lot of the confusion. Well, look, I definitely think that people should should read the book, but give them a little bit of a taste of what it is that you describe in the cult of Trump. Sure. So, uh, for example, what we need to understand is that there's an ethical influence and an unethical influence on the influence continuum. So, legitimate groups, legitimate uh, religions, give informed consent. They honor the person's free will. They encourage the person to read whatever they want to read, talk to whoever they wanted to talk to, and make their own decisions. On the destructive end of the continuum, unfortunately, lying uh, by withholding, distorting information, a lot of fear, a lot of guilt, a lot of confusion, a demand for obedience and dependency. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I when I describe uh, Donald Trump, who, by the way, grew up 1.3 miles from me in Queens, New York, <laughs> when I describe when I describe uh, him, I put him next to people like my former cult leader Sun Myung Moon, Ron Hubbard, Jim Jones, uh, Charles Manson, Lyndon LaRouche because they fit the malignant narcissist profile. Someone who is unable to um, have empathy, grandiose claims, never takes responsibility, pathological lying, thinks they're above the law. Mm -hmm. And so I lay out in a full chapter the criteria of what characterizes a destructive cult leader. And again, referring to the influence continuum, of course we have other political leaders but they care about the truth and facts. They care about uh, admitting if they made a mistake. They don't blame everybody else. They don't project all of their, their stuff on everybody else, but they, they believe in rule of law and the constitution and the checks and balances. Furthermore, I go into, my, into the book about the whole history of the media, of propaganda, of, of um, disinformation campaigns, and how right now we're experiencing psychological warfare type level of uh, disinformation that's aimed to delegitimize truth itself, uh, delegitimize legitimate leaders, institutions, and to make people feel powerless and, and hopeless, actually, to give up to the authority figure who says, trust me, I know everything. So when I And then I go into the groups that are controlling Trump and the, and the base that are the fervent followers, and I describe mm -hmm. how they're like cult figures. So uh, just one question here. Um, when I think of cults and how they end up making news, if they do make news, it has to do with putting on Nikes and killing themselves and um, or like some kind of mass sarin gas attack on some kind of subway, you know? So the question is how far in your estimation is the cult of Trump from doing something like that? And do you foresee it ever getting to that situation? So unfortunately, the moment Donald Trump said I could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and people will follow me blindly, I've had a deep concern of how dangerous this, this individual is. Uh, honestly, I was in the moon cult during the Nixon impeachment period, and I went from thinking Nixon was a crook before I was recruited deceptively into the Moonies to fasting for Nixon because Moon said God had chosen him to be president. And right now there are millions of Americans who are being misled by their religious leaders saying that they think Trump is like a King Cyrus figure, that God is using him and therefore we need, we need to give total allegiance to him. To answer your question, I'm very concerned 
in in any organization where there's this this uh, absolute uh, need for dependency, obedience, and loyalty, where people who say critical things they're the enemies of the people, uh, the media, which we know is like one of the most important checks and balances on abuse of power. And my fear is is that the right, extreme right wing media has been talking conspiracy theories for a very long time where many people are stockpiling assault rifles and machine guns um, and are believing that there needs to be a civil war in the United States. This is one of my deeper fears. So um, that, that really gets into what might happen if the impeachment goes through or if he loses reelection. But, but let's say hypothetically that he either loses reelection and, and does step down or if he were to you know, pass away in office. What I'm curious about is your experience with other cults having to deal with the loss of the figurehead. How do you think these millions of Americans might respond if he either is no longer in power or if he were to pass away at some point? That's a good question. Um, I, I can only speculate that Trumpism will continue even if he's removed from office or if he uh, dies in office due to his uh, ill health. Um, so I'm very concerned about this whole mentality that's been inculcating, uh, inculcated in American consciousness um, that that we need to hate our fellow Americans. We need to call them names. We need to put them down. We need to ignore rules of law, and 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 forget about the Constitution. Even though Trump and the cabinet all swore loyalty to the Constitution, they're not following the Constitution. So I'm very concerned. Thank you for watching this clip from The Damage Report. For more content from the show and access to TYT Network members only exclusives, go to tyt.com slash Brooke. Wait, no, it's tyt.com slash John. Go to tyt.com slash John to sign up.